typically, at least in my experience, people don't come to Calvinism just by reading the Bible. I became a Calvinist in 2008. Uh, embarrassed to admit, one of the only books that I had read before becoming a Calvinist was a book by James White and Dave Hunt. And I was actually agreeing with Dave Hunt. That's the embarrassing part. I was like, this James White guy's crazy. Every time I heard the word Calvinism, like you guys are crazy, election, you guys are crazy. And then in 2008, I was challenged by a seminary professor, Dr. Don Whitney. He told our class, he said, you guys are gonna be ministers of the word of God and you are responsible for teaching the people everywhere that proceeds out of the mouth of God. How are you gonna teach them if you haven't read every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God? And I was convicted by the Holy Spirit because I understood at that point, I, I was reading the Bible, but I hadn't disciplined myself to read through all of the scriptures. So I began reading the whole Bible. And when I, I divided my little ESV Bible up by the number of days in the year, and it came up out to like four pages a day. And so I'm digging through the Bible at four pages a day, sometimes more, and writing out notes, sometimes saying, well, this is free will over here. And then having a, you know, a hundred other verses that say, well, but God's sovereignty is over here. And so it was as I was reading through all the scriptures, because it's more than just like John 6 and Romans 9 and Ephesians 1. It's more than just talking about predestination and election. Those things are very important to biblical Calvinism, of course, but biblical Calvinism encompasses so much more than that. So I began to read through the whole Bible and came across passages like Job 42 and Isaiah 10 and 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 <laughs> even Genesis 1-1, right? So I began to really understand what the whole Bible was saying. Then I began to see that God is way bigger than I had given him credit for. I saw his sovereignty and his divine decrees and his purposes that cannot be thwarted. And so for me, it was this whole Bible intake that move me into biblical Calvinism. So it wasn't a, any other book I'd read by anybody. Like I said, the only book I'd read, I actually agreed with the non-Calvinists. Thought James White was crazy. But as I began to understand what the scriptures say, I moved into a uh, to embrace this biblical truth because of the Bible and God's grace. Now, you may have a testimony of somebody who has. Congratulations.